Hey there. Have you heard of this this whiskey? It's getting it's getting all kinds of love. And I've I've seen it on the shelf and I've never pulled the trigger on it. But have you ever heard of Stuff in Whiskey with Josh and Aaron? An amazing channel on the YouTubes. This is their single barrel pick. This is what made me finally pull the trigger on the hard truth sweet mash rye. Stay with me and see what I think about this. Is it as good as the Stuff and Whiskey channel? Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome back to Dreams for Dummies. I, of course, am El Numero Uno Dummio, nah. uh, Brett. And uh, yeah, I, I, if you've watched a few of the last episodes, you know that uh, I had a little bit of a break, a little vacation there. Not from the channel, uh, just a real vacation with family. But it ends up being a vacation from the channel, which I actually was sad about and missed. So I've been kind of rapid fire um, uh, recording here because it's just fun to one drink in my kitchen again. Uh, you know, when you're on vacation, the familiar home is always nice. So. Nice to drink some things. I've had some cool bottles sort of arriving um, as I was gone, so I've had to kind of get through those, which has been a blast. And the one today, I'm super excited about for multiple reasons. Um, first and foremost, um, the hard truth. Been hearing great things about this group out of Indiana, and I've yet to pull the trigger. There's there's a bottle. Uh, of the sweet my uh, sweet sweet my sweet mash rye uh, sitting on the shelf at bubbles and I keep I keep looking at it and thinking about it and thinking about it and I just haven't just pulled the trigger yet um, you know hard truth first of all with this one it's their sweet mash rye so it's with sweet mash that means they're doing fresh ingredients every time they're not carrying anything over um, and on this this one's mash bill is a 94 percent rye. 6% malted barley. So it, that's exciting. But typically, the one, hard truth's a little bit younger, usually, um, sub four years a lot, at least age statement wise. They blend, they're, they're usually blends. But everything I hear about them is for a young, you know, a youngish, younger rye, they do amazing things with the blends. They're doing amazing things with their with their uh, mash and their dis and their distillation. So they get a lot of flavor and a lot of character out of their young product. But I still haven't pulled the trigger yet until my I would like to say good friends. You know, they've never met me. We've never really talked. Can't really call them good friends, but I watch them all the time. And think they're amazing people and love them uh, for what they bring to our whiskey world and that is uh, Josh and Aaron from Stuff and Whiskey this is their single barrel pick so I've never had a Josh and Aaron pick so there's a there's a I want hard I wanted to try hard truth check I've never had a stuff and whiskey pick check unlike the regular um, batched product it's going to be a single barrel check down with that and then the proof then is 127.9 check 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 pulled the trigger first hard truth first stuff in whiskey pick experience love being able to support them because they're fantastic if you haven't seen their stuff um, it's a little uh not that I'm the loudest in the world, but they are definitely a, a softer, sweeter, mellower, more thoughtful channel uh, that gives great re blind reviews, and you know how much I like blinds too, so check them out. Uh, without further ado, uh, this one here is just under four, this barrel is just under four years old, so that's awesome. I've had it sitting here. This is the first pour. I did pop the cork off earlier today just to get a little air in the bottle, pop the cork back on. Speaking of the cork, this is a this is a really cool cork. It's got this aged, weathered gnarliness to it. It's a big, beefy cork. I like that. It's got a really cool bottle, uh, very pretty bottle. So striking. Um, and then I've poured this first glass and let it sit for now, probably 15, 20 minutes. So it's it's got enough air to to see what's happening in here. So let's get into this thing. 
swirly, 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 get the air, get it more agitated, more awake, uh, more up on the side of the glass so that the nose is more accurate. That's why you, you, that's why you do the swirl job, right? A la Matt Porter. Uh, you want to get some air in there. You want to get it awake. And again, you'll sometimes see people roll the glass, do this deal to coat the inside of the glass. Um, that's fine. I feel clumsier with that than I do with this. So whatever works for you. So color wise, here you go, mom. She said, put it against the white wall so people can see it. I don't know. It's with the sunshine behind. I don't know if that's accurate. Enough. You know, again, like people have talked about for, you know, no finishing, you know, and three and a half plus years of age, pretty good color in that, you know, really pretty nice color. So, uh, so that's nice. I like that so far. Let's see what the nose is doing. <laughs> Kings of Leon radio mix, so little Kings of Leon it's firing up. It's hard to, this one of those songs that's distracting. It's my favorite, favorite uh, album from them. Anyway, Aha Heartbreak, is that what it is? Anyway, a very, um, very wry nose, um, sweet and punchy, uh, a little almost cedar. Um, that mintiness is there, but it's just generally, it's just bright and kind of spicy in the nose and which is nice when you're drinking a rye, that's kind of what you're looking for. I, I know the age, so it's not a blind, I'm not being super smart. Some of that brightness might be from the, a little bit of the youth, but really there's a lot of layers in there. There's a lot of different, um, things happening in that nose. And you know, I like that. Let me get a little drink, first drink of the day, so let's just wake the palate up and see what's going on. Woo! Okay, I'm not going to give a full analysis on that, but that's, that is a, pr a bright and punchy booger with still some smoothness in there, some richness in there, but that's the first drink, so... I'm not going to get too nuts on that, but super minty, very minty hit on the on the first blast there. It was like a spearmint, which I like a lot. Oh, the popo are all zinging by my 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 window. Not not on foot. No no guns drawn. Just driving. I don't know what's going on out there. Hopefully it's all okay out there. Okay, the 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 little drink has has brought new things to life. Ooh, getting some of that oak in there. There's something. That yeasty kind ofness to it that, again, there's different layers in here. Overall, though, just spicy, baking spice, um, Yeah, that's that's a peppery, spicy nose. Uh, it's really good, but there's definitely some sweet in there too, kind of like a, oh, you know, like a cinnamon jelly belly or something, where it's just like it's got that spice on the outside, and you get that sugary inside. All right, so anyway, I, I I just did a fake drink. That was weird. Let me give this thing a, a score here. Oh man, that is super rye. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, there was a grapeiness in there too, somewhere. It's, it's different every time I smell it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eight and a half. It's a pretty strong nose. All right. Holy bajoli. Man, that has got so much going on. Um, I I kind of lost track of what, what was happening after about the second or third twist and turn, and that was just when it just barely got in my mouth. Like, it just got in there. 
started firing everything off. I I was picking up strong flavor before I even swallowed. I mean, just mouth closed. It's just sitting in there. I'm kind of rolling it around a little bit, and I'm getting. Usually, you got to get it. You got to kind of swallow it and kind of let it do its thing, wash over. This thing was lighting things up on the sweet side and that savory spicy side, all just from the from the get go. And then as you let it roll back and down. The back end of the palate's got a lot going on, but then the finish really sparkles and sizzles and cut and goes for a while. That was really nice. That that was crazy. That was crazy good. Hmm. It's like clinging to the glass around here, if you can see that. It's not if the legs are crazy or not, but it's definitely leaving some residue. It's doing some things. Yeah, not a lot of leg action in there, and that's kind of partly the youth probably of that. Oh, the nose is waking up more. And again, when you break the bot, when, you, when, you, when I'm sharing the first pour with you guys, you know, you call it the neck pour, whatever, you're probably not getting the full opened up experience. So as this is just sitting in the glass and I come back to it, I feel like it's opening up. So I'm, I'm excited to see what it does, what it does later, maybe in a blind or something. Yeah, okay. That's crazy good. That's crazy good. I, I'm, I, golly. Um, I kind of feel like it might be a 9 on the palate and an 8 on the finish. I don't know. The palate is also a little different each time. It hasn't done anything wrong for me yet. I haven't had a bad smell yet. I haven't had a bad taste yet. I haven't had a bad anything in the finish, the experience. Everything has been really nice. It's just a little different, so it's hard to kind of pin down what exactly your thoughts are <laughs> or your score is. But if the if it's if it's a little bit of an adventure and a ride, every every sniff and every taste, um, and it's always a good ride. That's like a good theme park, right? Just you get off this ride, you go get the next ride. That one's a different ride, but it's just as fun. And then you go to that one instead. Of, you know, it's like and sometimes some have similarities. Okay, so that one, I've got, I got, I got another drink or so left in there. I'm stretching this out longer than I need to. It's, it, it, that was the, the first time where it wasn't anything off-putting at all. But in the palate, now maybe my, my, I'm acclimating a little bit. Some of the zings and the twists have smoothed out, which again is nice. Um, but it felt a little more one note in the palate that that drink and the finish didn't quite have the zing and the linger that it had before. So I don't know what happened on that one. It could be a million things. The fun of this game is that the song changed, the police drove by, I thought about something in the middle. Who knows what things happen that screw up or change or affect for... Bourbon burps. Um, yeah, you don't know, that's the, that's the glory of, that's what makes drinking bourbons and whiskey so much better than a beer or a whatever, I mean, it's like, whatever, I, I used to love good beers, but beer's beer, you know, it's like, it's, you drink it, it's whatever, this is life dependent, mood dependent, palate dependent, what'd you have to eat today, today dependent, are you in a good mood or a bad mood, was it a good day today or a bad day today, name the show best show ever hint all right last drink then i'll give you my scores i like 8.5 on the nose still i'm kind of thinking i might need to slide the palate down a notch we'll see here let's come on last drink give it to me hmm hmm that is good, good juice. Good job, Josh and Aaron. Yay! Kudos to you. Not that I ever would doubt your amazing talents and palettes. I'm dropping the palette to an 8.5. Just because, I don't know, because I'm a jerk that way. I don't know. So, 8.5 nose, 8.5 palette, 8 finish. That is an 8 point, what is that, 17, 25 divided by 3, it's an 8 point 
two, three, eight, something. It's a top shelf. This is top shelf. Um, like a couple of things I've done recently, th uh, this is maybe, probably gone already. Um, go to Stuff and Whiskey, jump on their links, see if you can find it. I'm not sure if it's being offered only through their, their, their patron site or uh, if it's uh, on an online retailer now. I, I'm not promoting anybody or anything, so I don't know. So if you can get this bottle still, get it. Um, but like some of the other things I've talked about recently, I think it validates a couple other things. Hard Truth, it confirms that they are they do good things. They're doing good stuff. So if you see Hard Truth on the shelves, uh, in this case it's the Sweet uh, Mash uh, Rye, the 94% the the rye. I would say give give it a whirl. You know, it's an, it's not. I think that's what kind of kept me from it. Is I think I think on the shelf the regular bottle was like sixty five. You know, and you're like, okay, a three ish year rye at a I think ninety six proof at the maybe for the for the blends. I was like, I just I can't quite make the math work. So for this one, I can't I can't tell you what I spent for this one, sixty seventy eighty. I don't remember. Um, but, but with, you know, almost 130 proof and single barrel and all these other things, I was like, okay. And, of course, stuff in whiskey. Um, pull the trigger. But I would say if, if, you, if you see it and it's within your price point and you like rise, grab it. The second thing is follow Josh and Aaron on stuff in whiskey and trust their palates. If you like my palate, trust their palate because they picked this barrel and thought it was great. I think it's great. Uh, so there's your validation. There's your your point of watching this episode with me is to know hard truth good, stuff and whiskey's good. Hopefully you think I'm good. You guys are awesome. I love you and what you're doing. Whatever you're doing, you're, you're great. And I got your back. As long as some of the things you're doing is subscribing, hopefully already. If not, click it now sharing with your other dummy friends that might like this stuff thinking about being a patron uh, so we can build that community and start doing our own barrel picks see what what that looks like uh, but either way the fact you you've watched this and made it to here thank you so much hit the thumbs up hit your thumbs up hit your buddy's thumbs up you know with consent love you guys